Hi everybody, Dave from Road CC here. Welcome to the Core Bike Show. We're going to be going around the stands looking at brands from a lot of big distributors in the UK. Lots of cool things to see. So follow me, we're going to find some things to look at. So here I am aboard the Tax Neobike Smart. This is one of the first two of the production units in the country. So they are coming in. Um, they reckon they'll be available to buy to the general public about April. Um, £2,299 for this bike. It uses the same magnetic resistance as the Neo2 trainer uh, with a belt drive to the pedals. And it's got electronic gear. So I've got a little um, screen up here that shows me my uh, setup. I've got a 2 by 11 system at the moment you can run it one by or anything you like you can have any kind of gear range that you like and these little sensors on here these little buttons allow you to move in between the gears and it really does feel like switching between the gears of a bike it's absolutely instant very clever now you've got a tray here for your phone you can put an ipad on the front there's two usb ports at the front here that you can charge your ipad from while you're going got fans here that you can set to increase with the speed or increase with your heart rate or your power and it's really nice it's a really solid thing so you can get out the saddle it feels nice and planted for putting the power down got a bottle cage there and obviously as a static bike it's really adjustable so lots of adjustment at the front and for the saddle height so you can get exactly the position you want so that's the neo bike uh, available from april probably 2299 pounds to you You might have seen this on Road CC. This is the Tubalito inner tube. Very small, very light, made from a thermoplastic elastomer instead of butyl. This is a butyl tube. Look, you can see it's tiny, but it's not as tiny as this, which is the S tubo. So this is like uh, an emergency tube you can carry around with you. It's not as strong as this because it's not as thick, but it's even lighter and it's even smaller. So that'll take up barely any room in your luggage. I mean, you can carry as many of these as you like, I would think. Uh, not cheap, they're 30 pounds a go. But if you're looking to get the lightest and most space efficient way of carrying a spare tube, this is probably it right now. So, another e-road bike, this time from Look. They're not somebody we were necessarily expecting to make an e-road bike, but I think we've got past the point of saying that now. Everyone's making them. Uh, this is an E765. Now they're making two different frames. Uh, they're making a gravel frame with 41 mil clearance for the for the tires and they're making this which is more of a road frame so there's not quite as much space in the back here uh, the prices will range from five and a half grand right up to this bike which is Altegra di2 it's got some vittorio carbon wheels on it this is eight thousand pounds now for the motor they're using the fazua down tube motor so this is a german system uh, it's used on a lot of bikes, it's used on the Pinarello we've been making videos about recently. Cube use it, Fantic use it, uh, Cairn use it for their gravel bike. And it's a very good system, um, powers the bottom bracket and you can pull the motor and the battery out so you can run this bike with just the bottom bracket in and it rides like a normal bike. So that's the Look E765, it's available uh, from April. So you don't see many titanium cranksets, but here's one. This is the Cane Creek E-Wings All-Road. So they started off with a mountain bike crankset and they've moved to All-Road. So doing it with a 110mm Spider here, you can fit whatever rings you like. This one's got some absolute black elliptical rings. Super cool, super light, 395 grams for the bottom bracket and the two arms, and very, very stiff and very, very expensive, a thousand pounds to you, or 1,500 quid if you want it with a stages power meter on the back of the non-drive side crank. A lovely thing though, really lovely upgrade to your bike and available now, so in shops now. Go out and buy one with your thousand pounds. Things are hotting up at the bottom end of the GPS market. This is the new Rider 15 from Brighton. So this is a full GPS for 70 pounds. Uh, it's gonna be available imminently. 
Um, it links to five satellite networks, so it's not just GPS, it's GLONLASS and three others as well that I can't remember. Galileo is one of them, there you go, the one that we're out of now. Um, and it's also Bluetooth compatible, so you can sync it to your phone, uh, you can get notifications on the device, you can sync it to your Bluetooth sensors, so any power sensors, speed and cadence, anything like that. And it looks really good, and because it's a low power screen, it's got a long battery life as well, 16 hour battery life they're claiming. So it looks like a really good option for anything from sportives to all access to commuting, anything like that. Look out for that, be out soon. Right, we're at the Physique stand. What we have here is the Physique R1 power strap. Now, this isn't available yet. This is going to be £225. It's going to be available in June. As you might be able to tell, this is in Movistar colours. So this is a Movistar team shoe. Now, the team have been using the R5 power strap with these Velcro straps as a winter training shoe. And they like the fit so much that they asked Physique to make them a race shoe with the same strap. So this is using the R1 unidirectional carbon sole. Um, Looks like a really nice shoe, it's very light and also very comfortable and very adjustable. You can adjust it on the go because of the Velcro strap, so that's good. Um, as I say, available from June, £225. Right, so we're on the form stand here. This is the Monster, this is a gra carbon gravel bike. We've tested that, we really liked it. And this is a new bike from Form, this is the Moynash. So they're doing this in two builds. They're doing this build, which is the new Tiagra Hydraulic Group set. That's for 13.25, and they're doing the saw and mechanical one as well. It's the same frame, same fork, same wheel set. This is a tubeless ready wheel set and tubeless ready tire, so you can run it tubeless straight out of the box if you want to. And that one's just over a grand, 1,045. Looks like a really nice bike. It's got a more relaxed geometry, slightly more upright than the Monsoor, and it's meant to be kind of all-round bike. So you can run it like this with gravel tires on. You can do all-road stuff on it. You can put a rack on it. You put 25 mil tires on it, ride sportives on it. It's a little bit longer than a standard road bike, but it's a very versatile bike. You can do a lot of stuff on this. So, you know, you can have it as your one bike to do everything, or if you've got a really good bike you like to ride in the summer and you want a winter bike, it's the kind of thing you'd be looking to buy, you know. Good all-purpose kit, hydraulic discs, Tiagra, should last all the way through the winter and you can stick some mud guards on it as well. So it looks like a really nice bike and we're gonna try and get one of these in for test as soon as we can. So, those are our highlights from the Core Bike Show for this year. If you've got any questions about any of these products, ask them in the comments below, we'll get them answered for you. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more like this on Road CC.